is good horror horde this is your boy horror gamer back with another video for you and in the spirit of the new year and the spirit of 2020 just being total ass i decided as you can tell by the title of this video to do a horror gamers top five worst horror movies of 2020 and like I said, with the spirit of 2020 being ass juice and just being the worst year ever, it's produced a lot of turds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not only did 2020 spew the coronavirus all over everybody, but it also spewed a lot of garbage in the cinemas. Right before, mind you, the cinemas closed. The movie theaters went bye-bye. So, instead of getting good movies like... Halloween, like Handyman, like Spiral the Book of Saw, and shit like that, we got this top five list of just dumpster fire ass juice that is this list of worst horror movies in 2020. But before I get into it, just know that your boy horror gamers reviews and top fives and everything's at points have spoilers in them all day, every day. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as spoiler free as possible because, you know, if I had to sit through this ass juice, so do you. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I had to sit through these bitches, I'm going to make you sit through them because, yeah, I ain't going to go through this one alone. So, all right, with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. Number five. Number five, we're going to have to go with Brahms the Boy 2. Now, the reason it's number five and it's not like one of the most hated on this list is because... It wasn't super bad, but it was bad enough to make the list. Um, I could actually watch it again, but uh, it was bad. It was bad, but it wasn't horrible like the other movies on this list. Um, it uh, it basically, I don't know if it was a sequel, prequel, whatever. So basically, it's about this woman who, you know, she gets tagged in her home, and they go to the country, and then... Their son finds a doll, and he, they do a supernatural take on the boy. Like, you know, in the first boy movie, it was Brahms was the um, dude hiding in the wall. Well, this one, they took a more supernatural approach with the doll. Like, the doll was almost like a Chucky approach with it. So, it was meh. Like I said, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest. Um, it was something that you could watch once or twice and be done with it. Um, it didn't really make a big impact on the horror community. So, yeah. Number five, Brahms the Boy 2. Number four has to go to a movie that was made for... It was it was, it was was made... Uh, it was a, re, a reimagining of a fairy tale. It was number four, Gretel and Hansel. Now, the woman that got to play the witch was amazing. She's good in everything she plays. She always plays this freaky woman and everything. But, I mean, how many times can you tell the story of Hansel and Gretel? Like, seriously. How many times can you tell it? We know the story. You know, we know the ending. We know it all. It's been done numerous times. It was even made into an action horror movie with Jeremy Reiner a few years back. You know what I mean? Like, that... It is what it is. It's Hansel and Gretel. I mean, they tried a little more scarier approach with this. I mean, but... It is what it is. It was meh. Like I said, I didn't care for it too much. I watched, you know, I, I, I powered through it at least. But it was one of them ones where, I mean, you got to watch it once because, like I said, I'm not going through this shit by myself. So definitely check that out at least one time. You know, see what you got. It, yeah, it is what it is. Number three. Number three for me was a huge, huge letdown. Okay, I was super excited about going to see this movie. I mean, I was so pumped about it. And then what we got in return was... And that is number three, The Grudge. Oh, God, I was so hyped to see this movie. I, I mean, I knew they were going to find a way to fuck it up. Let's just be honest. Hollywood, when they get a hold of something, they like to fuck shit up. Let's just be real. But, I mean, all they had, to, the story was there. They had three sequels prior. And use that, make another one. That's all you had to do. Don't try to fucking westernize it and make it an American grudge. It made no sense. Like, 
the way they built this up, you only see the girl from The Grudge for two seconds in the whole movie from the original Grudge. You only see Kyoko for two seconds. And that's it. And then the rest of the time, it's the, this woman like that nobody cares about. You know what I'm saying? Like, There's not even a real build-up to her to make you care about her. She gets possessed, she does what she does, and then she's the grudge. That's it. That's all it was. It was so stupid. And they had a good cast. They had a decent story. They had, they had, you know, Her um, fuck his name. Um, the guy from Harold and Kumar, you know what I mean? They had uh, Lynn Shea. I mean, they had an all-star cast. And they produced that. <sighs> that was a letdown. That, was the, that one probably was the biggest letdown in 2020. Not the worst in 2020, but the biggest letdown in 2020 was The Grudge. So number three, The Grudge. Now, number two, and the reason this is number two is because, I'm going to be honest, I barely got through it and I don't remember much about it, and that is The Turning. So The Turning stars the little boy, uh, the, that Finn kid from uh, fucking... Uh, Stranger Things, and he plays this, this fucking weird kid who likes to kill animals, and and uh, the girl from the Terminator movies in it, she's like this uh, babysitter who's coming to watch these kids or whatever, and Finn's like this bad kid, almost like the good son, like the Macaulay Culkin, but and it's like a haunted, like it was all over the place, like this movie was all over the place, and it was not a good movie at all, like it was rough. <laughs> This movie was a tough one to get through because it made no sense. Like, I was watching, and I'm watching it, and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's going on in the whole movie. You're like, well, what's this? What's that? Is this the reason? Is that the reason? There's so many plot holes. And then, end credits. And it's like, well, this movie blew. This movie blew very much. Just like 2020, you know? These are the movies we got right before the pandemic, which sucks because... We got some turds, guys. Like, 2020 really shit on us. Not only with the coronavirus, but for bad movies. Yeah, so number two definitely goes to The Turning. Because it was just ass juice. Now, with this, you know, with Horror Gamers Top 5s, we always like to throw out some honorable mentions. And to be honest, with all the bullshit that came out, I mean, New Mutants, it was a superhero movie that was a horror movie that was just horrible. Um, that's an honorable mention. And there was a few others. I mean, this list is annoying me already because, like I said, we got crap. Uh, but now, I will give an honorable mention to, like I said, the New Mutants. It was supposed to, they, they marketed it as this the first horror movie in Marvel, the Marvel Universe. And it was... There was that in the Marvel Universe. So yeah, New Mutants. Now, number one. <laughs> oh, you guys know how much I love number one. Number one goes to that fucking flamer right there. Fantasy Island. This movie was trash. Like, oh my God. I've seen some bad movies in my day. But to take a movie... Or to take a show that had nothing to do with horror and then turn it into this dumpster ass juice fire fucking whatever this was and then have the nerve to release it to the world <laughs> it was just oh my god this movie was so bad and the problem that I had with the whole thing was the actors were good they had good actors in this movie they had a stylish cast and they gave us an hour and a half of... That was it. Like, this movie was so, so bad. You need to go out and watch it, because like I said, I don't want to be the only one that watched this one right here, especially this one. This one was trash. Go out there and watch it, because I don't want to be the only one experiencing that. But, no, nah, this movie was so bad. I watched it once. I will never watch it again. And this is the only other time I will ever talk about it after this, because that made... The lit that the number one garbage juice movie of 2020 is Fantasy Island. Oh, so bad. But 
All right, Horror Horde. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this list as much as I kind of enjoyed giving it to you because I hate talking about bad movies. But I hope you enjoyed this list as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Um, here's to hoping 2021 is a lot better than 2022. Hopefully this year we get Halloween like they promised. We get Candyman like they promised. We get Saw like they promised. Along with some of the other horror movies that are supposed to release this year. Um, hopefully we get that. Hopefully 2020 is just going to be a fucking shit stain on the underwear of life and be forgotten about after after fucking Thursday. So, all right, Horror Horde. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time your boy Horror Gamer throws up a top five that you're always in the know. Plus... After you go do that, run on over to the Horror Gamer Patreon page where, you know, your boy Horror Gamer has a couple tiers. And, you know, just see what kind of cool perks you get, you know what I mean? Um, and just know that every penny that goes into this Horror Gamer uh, Patreon comes right back to the channel so I can make great content for you guys. And then when you're done doing that, jump on over to the Z Network and see what kind of cool stuff we got over there. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff for everybody. It's just stuff for everybody. So, all right, Horror Horror. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, as always, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it. <laughs>